could get them. Um, all right, so my friend Michelle and Matt have done a good job. They journal posted, they added up the T accounts, and now it turns out they added up the T accounts. For example, cash equals 740, and um, they've made a trial balance, and it balances. So now we're gonna do adjusting entries, okay? She has a test tomorrow, so she's in a kind of a rush, which is always good because it forces you to one of them, right, Yasmin? Yep. So, okay, so now we're gonna do adjusting entries. The purpose of adjusting entries is to, of course, to adjust the books, but the thing is to look for any re revenues or expenses that we didn't um, find yet, Michelle. What adjust? We're gonna do adjusting entries now. Okay. As it turns out, debits do equal credits, so now we're gonna do adjusting entries. The purpose, when we, when we do adjusting entries, Yasmin, in a test situation, now of course Mike's website, the purpose of which is to get an A in your course. So some teachers will, will dispute my statement, which is we're looking for any revenues or expenses that we didn't find. But when you're on a test, Yasin, you read the statement, Michelle. You ready to do journal entries, Michelle? Yeah. Ready? You want me to do one there? Yeah. Okay. Yasin's gonna do the closing entries, all right? See, I could do them. I used to have a camera girl, but I don't have her right now. Now, leave that there. Make the journal entry to the right of it. Just put a line to separate it. We're doing it to the right. Now, adjusting entries. We read this. Here's how we do it. Here's Mike's technique. Again, there's a high failure rate. Unless you go to a private school where you give them $2,000 and everybody gets either an A or a B. It's unbelievable, but that's what they do. I hate to say it, but, but if you're in a school where they have standards, you're going to, you know, the purpose is this. We read the sentence and we say to ourselves, am I looking for a revenue or an expense? Read the first one, Matt. Supplies on hand, 500. Supplies on hand, 500. That means supplies in our hand. Michelle, am I looking for a revenue or an expense? That's what I ask myself on a test. What do you think? I'll make your best guess if you're not sure. I was gonna go with revenue. No, nope. revenue means to perform a service. This has to do with how many supplies got used. Expense means to use, revenue means to do. They're both verbs, so we're looking for an expense. What kind of expense you wanna call it? Take a guess. Supply expense. Supply expense, write down the word supply expense. You're on a test, that's what you do, Yasmin, okay? You read the sentence and you say to yourself, supply expense. It's, now then you say to yourself, is supply expense increasing or decreasing? What do you think, Yasmin? Plus expense decrease is a debit. Nope, it's a verb. It's always increasing. Expenses and revenues are verbs. Remember, they're always increasing. Oh, it was revenues, right? What's that? It's revenues. Revenues and expenses are verbs. Okay. They're always increasing. So he's right, though. He's right. He said that expenses carry debits. He's right about that. Therefore, Michelle, debit or credit to supply expense. Correct answer. See your T account. If you're not sure, Michelle, look at the T account. If you're in a situation where you're learning this stuff, you look at the T account. That's what they're there for. And you see the plus on the left side of the expense? You see that? Look at one of the expense accounts, Michelle. Assets. You see what the expenses are? Point out. Go over to rent expense, Michelle. I can add it over here, right? Well, you, yeah, yeah, you could. Yeah, good. Write down supply expense. That's right. You are going to do. You know, skip down a little. You got to get a little space, though because you're gonna to have to adjust those accounts up top now that I think about it. All right, so you just abbreviate, SUP is fine, EXT account. Put your plus minus in the right spot. That's all I The plus is on the left, isn't it? Yeah. Michelle? It is, that's correct. Oh. The point is that it carries on the left. Is it a debit or a credit then? In, this, in other words, do I need a debit or a credit now in this uh, sentence that they've spoken debit. to? That's right, debit. How much? 500. Nope. Michelle, look at the account. See, Matt, see the account called supplies? Yeah. How much does it say there is? But how much is it after you counted them? It's 2,500 now, but the problem states that there's only uh, 500. 500. So what do you happened to them? Use you use them. What do you think use means in accounting language? Michelle, what does use mean? 
That's okay. That's what we're learning the language. That's why. That's okay, Michelle. You're doing great. That's why we learned the language. What does use mean, Matt? In accounting uh, language. What is that? It's debit? Nope. Debit means left. Yes, yeah, I mean, what does use mean in accounting language? I mean, it's consumed. Mean it does, but that's synonymous. Expense, expense, expense. Expense means to use. That's why I say it again, because we, you know, it takes time to learn it. It goes in our mind. Okay, so expense means to use, Michelle. The point is, how much, how much supplies got used? Two. How much? Two thousand. Correct answer. Debit or credit to supply expense, and how much? It'd be a debit. That's right. It would be. And she's right for two thousand. All right, put entry A, put a little A next to that, indicating it's our first adjusting entry. And what's the credit? What expense means to use? To use what? To use what, Yasmin? Expense? To means to use, but to use what? All right, put your debit up there, Michelle. What are we using? We're using an asset. The cash. Okay, Michelle, I say it again to you for it could be, could be a test question. Expense means to use. To use what? To use an asset. What asset do you think we're using, Michelle? Supplies. Correct answer. Write it down underneath it. Is supplies increasing or decreasing? Michelle? Decreasing. Correct answer. Debit or credit? Credit. That's right. All right, she journals. That's your first adjusting entry. You're going to have them tomorrow on an exam. Okay, so it's not all fun and games here in the real world in college, is it? So we need to get A's out here. All right, post it up. Post your supply expense. You already did. Now post the supplies. Post up the supplies. In fact, do this, Michelle. Here's what you do. Let me see this. Can I see your thing for a second? Here's what we'll do. We'll make a line like this to indicate this is before. So now what happened was it was 2000 and 3A... And then we put the end balance in another box here. I'm not as neat as Michelle. And that's okay. That's how you do that. And it's the account on a test, okay? Your teacher didn't teach you that. Hello, Terrence. Make yourself at home. We'll get you some work on your stuff, Terrence. Okay. Next. Accrued salaries. Accrued salaries. Are we looking for revenue or expense, Michelle? What page is it, Matt? 134. 134, Queso Wagon, 8th edition. Michelle, are you looking for revenue and expense? Ex expense? Hey, you're right. What kind? What do you want to call it? What kind of expense do you want to call it? Salaries. Let's do it. Write down the word salaries expense. S-A-L-E-X-P. Is the salary expense increasing or decreasing is the question you ask yourself on a test. That's what you have to ask yourself tomorrow for your test, Michelle. Decre decrease? Nope. It's, I'll say it again. That's okay. That, that's what we're dreaming in your head now. I'll say it again. He, he knows. It's the expenses are verbs, right? So they're always increasing because a verb is a description of something that happened. Okay. The people worked for us. So therefore, it's a debit or credit. Debit. Correct answer. How much was it for? 500. 500. Okay. And expense does mean to use an asset. We are going to use an asset called cash later on, not now, though. When you see the word accrued tomorrow, when you see that word in an adjusting entry, it means wasn't recorded, wasn't paid. So we're not paying cash now. What account do you think we should use, uh, Michelle? What was the, what was the salary, isn't it? Wait, can you read the question again? Read that to work again, Matt. Uh, accrued salary is payable, 500 Salaries payable? That's right. Salaries payable. Salaries payable increasing or decreasing, Michelle? Decreasing. Go look at your T account, Michelle. Go by your T account. Go by salaries payable, Michelle. You see the T account for salaries payable? Yes. Do I owe more money or less money after these folks worked for us for a week and I didn't pay them? More. Correct answer. Me? Debit or credit? Credit. Correct answer. Now she's going to go post. Thank you, Terrence. Like I said, we got Atlantic City rules, which is, you know, they are. In Atlantic City, if you so much as talk on the phone, the pit boss stops the game and tells you to get off that phone. You got to go away from the table. And some people think he's kidding. They're not kidding. They're not kidding. You got to get away from the table. The girl, the first the girl tells you the deal with, and they say, yo, you got to move away from the table. 
You can't do that. It's the last sacred place, the casino. Can you believe it? Now, gambling is, you know, I like to not call card counting gambling, but we'll be, that's another story.